Well, folks, I want to take a few minutes and let you know about this episode of our show. The month of July, we're dedicating this show to not only my friend Debbie, but also the co-producer of our show. Debbie produces the show with me and has been my friend for many years. And we're paying her back by having a benefit for her here at the Highway House July 18th. Now, this is open to writers and non-writers alike, so anybody is welcome to come out. It's an all-day event. One of the first things we're going to do is a benefit ride, which leaves here in the morning. Uh, you can register for that, and if you don't have a bike, just drive on out to the place. We're going to be here all afternoon. Now, sitting with me today is Tracy. Tracy is the manager of the bar here at the Highway House. We want to let you know, say thank you very much for allowing us to have the event here. What uh, What's going to go on? Do you have an idea of what's going to go on that day? We're going to have a run. registers at 1030, and uh, I think they have two or three stops. I'll be stopping back around 230 or 3. We're going to have a live band. We'll have the live music. We're going to try to have a couple more bands after that to keep the night rolling. Okay. We're going to have uh, the Hooters girls here doing a bike wash. We'll have a DJ out on the deck okay. after that. Um, a lot of things will be going on in the parking lot. There'll be events going on all day, raffles, um, door prizes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we're also we're located on Old Coal Rain in okay. Coal Rain, um, just past Kemper Road. Okay. And, uh, you don't have to have a bike to come up. Like he said, everybody's welcome. Um, there'll be lots to do. Yeah, because a lot of people, they say, well, where is it? And I tell them the best thing to do is the Corrine Avenue exit off 275, just past the Speedway gas station, which is old Corrine Avenue. You're going to turn left at about, what, two miles down the road on the right-hand side, yes. and you're going to find the... Uh, highway house right here so we'll and you can see all of us yeah so folks we're gonna have lots of vendors that are gonna be here the day of the event and in fact one of those vendors is coming up right now we're gonna talk with Dano who installed some lights on my bike well what we want to talk about now is lighting up your bike because it's getting nice out in the summertime the heat's here we're gonna be riding into the evening and we want to make sure that people see us where we're out on the road we always like to be able to see with our headlights out onto the highway now we want people who are driving near us to see us and see us even better. One of the ways we could do that is adding more light to our bike. And how we're going to do that is using this product called Street Effects. We're going to install Street Effects lights on my V-Rod to get myself more visible to traffic out there. Now, myself, I wouldn't know where to begin to install these lights. That's why I call the expert. Dano, you're the expert in lighting and installing these on the bike. How long would it take... Uh, you to do this install on this bike? Well Dave, the average install usually takes in between four to six hours on a V-Rod. Okay. Um, most Harleys is about the same, four to six hours. Okay. Well, like I say folks, that's why I call the expert to get this done. Now Dano's going to install these lights on the bike and then we're going to come back and take a look at the finished product. Alright, hey folks, we're back with the finished install of the lighting and through the magic of television it only took a few seconds, but actually took a little bit longer to get this done because of the bike that we put it on. Dano, uh, tell us a little bit about that. Did it take a little bit longer than normal? Well, most installs usually take in between four and five hours. This one took close to six and a half to get everything on right. But uh, these bikes are real tight with the engine compartment, so it's kind of tough to get the lights in in a lot of the different areas, you know, and uh, to make sure that they're illuminated good. Um, and to route all the wiring on this bike takes a little bit longer than your normal Harley. Now we want to say thanks to the folks from Street Effects because they supplied the lighting for this project and how it was easy to work with the product. Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty easy and then they have the 12 volt relay, uh, remote relay switch which you know you can use a key phobe to light these lights up from a distance which is really a big plus with this. You can be from a distance sometimes up to a hundred foot away you know and somebody ask you whose bike you know which which bike is yours you know you say well it's the one that I'm getting ready to light up right now and you press the remote and it lights up and they're like oh okay yeah, yeah. especially if your bike is distinctive with lighting you know a lot of bikes don't have all cool white so right. you're gonna be distinctive with this V-Rod right right and talking about the cool whites I went with the brighter lights because I wanted more more light and brighter light but you've also the, the manufacturer has several different colors available in fact you've used some even red just just on the engine alone for some people. Oh yeah, when you uh, light the engine compartment up with the red, it gives the look of fire and that's what a lot of guys like. They like that uh, effect on a bike. Right. And then also with the, with the color choices, you can go with the matching the bike or something contrasting. A lot of choices in lighting. Oh, that's true. And sometimes uh, people will have you to mix them up. You know, they'll have some cool white around to illuminate the chrome and then they'll put colors along the accent. You know, it's just 
basically preference. What I do is creative positioning. I'll show them what the lights look like in different areas just lit up mm -hmm. and then before I attach them, you know, and once, you know, they tell me that that's where they want them or whatever and what color they want, right. then we do it. Right, right. Well, uh, want to thank the folks once again from Street Effects for supplying this for our project and the information at the bottom of the screen, you can see all the complete line of Street Effects products right there on their website.